This is a new Webflow website that I launched just today. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through every single step of my entire SEO process. I'm gonna break it down as simply as I can to help you optimize every single one of your sites and get them to rank on Google. Now in this video, I'm gonna break this down into a few different steps. First, we're gonna talk about some critical settings inside of Webflow that will help with your SEO. Then I'm gonna share with you a couple free tools that you should be using, especially if you're a beginner, to help you start to understand how SEO and ranking works. Then we're gonna dive right into the Webflow Designer and I'm gonna walk you through every single step of optimizing a website. And then at the very end, we're gonna talk about backlinks, which are the most difficult part of an SEO campaign, but also the most important. I'm gonna show you the easiest way to acquire great backlinks so you can start to rank on Google. So let's dive into it. All right, so we're here inside Webflow and the first thing that we're going to do is go to our project settings. And these settings are gonna be really quick and easy to adjust, but they're absolutely critical. So first go over to the SEO tab and you're gonna scroll down and make sure that auto-generate sitemap is toggled to yes and make sure that you save that. Now we're going to wanna to publish after we make all these settings, but let's make the other ones first. Now let's go to our hosting tab and scroll all the way almost to the bottom and of course, we wanna make sure that our SSL security is toggled on, but we also wanna minify HTML, minify CSS, and minify JavaScript. By doing this, it is going to compress these things and help the optimization and the performance of our website. So let's click Save to these changes, and the final setting that we wanna do is come up here. Now, if you've connected a custom domain, you're gonna notice that there are two versions of this domain one without www and one that has it. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is set the version that has www as the prefix. You're gonna to wanna to set that one as your default domain. Now you can scroll up and click publish. You'll see that now that version is the only one that you're able to publish to. Go ahead and click publish. And just like that, we've got all of our settings ready to dive into our other optimizations. Now, before we dive back into the Webflow Designer, I wanna to talk to you about two really essential tools. The first one is Google Search Console. Again, this is a free tool, but Google Search Console is the best way for you to monitor your ranking and performance on Google. This is also going to allow you to do important things like submit sitemaps and check for errors and red flags that might be critical to your site's rankings. And the second tool is Google Analytics. Now you're probably familiar with Google Analytics, but this is the best way to track your performance, see your traffic, where it's coming from, and also the behavior of that traffic on your website. Now again, both of these tools are free and I will include links down below in the description if you need help to connect your site to these tools and start using them. They're really easy to use and I would not ever start an SEO campaign without them. So go ahead and check them out. And now let's dive into the Webflow Designer. Now I'm gonna give you a full walkthrough here and this is going to be really essential that you understand and remember every single step of this. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to provide you a free download of this checklist so you can remember all of these tips. But the other thing that you can do is go ahead and use my new Chrome extension, which is called Semflow. You can find out more about this at semflow.io. That is the tool that I'm going to be using in this video. Now I do wanna make sure that you know that you don't necessarily need to use this tool to optimize your site, but this is going to make it much easier and it's going to ensure that you do everything correctly. So if you wanna learn more, go to semflow.io, but let's go ahead and dive into this. Now, this extension is going to pull up on your left toolbar right here, and once you click it, it's going to make sure that you have all of your settings connected. It's going to make sure that it recognizes your domain, and you can go ahead and click Launch Semflow. Now what this tool is going to do is it's going to crawl every page of your site and then it's going to give you a general SEO score to tell you exactly where you're at and then what needs to be done to improve that score to hopefully get it up to 100% and give yourself the best chance to rank on Google. Now once the audit is finished, you're gonna see your score right here and then it's going to show you all the individual pages of your website, both static and CMS pages, and all of the individual SEO elements and recommendations that you need to do in order to optimize each page. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna start on the homepage and I'm gonna take you through every single step of this to show you how this is done. And then again, you're going to have all of this in your checklist at the end of this video. Now the first thing is page keyword is set. Now a page keyword or keyword phrase 
is basically just what people would type into Google search if they were trying to find your website. Now for keyword research, you're probably going to want to use a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs or Mangles. These types of tools are going to allow you to see exactly what people are searching on Google. It's going to show you how many people are searching it and how competitive and difficult each keyword is. And then you can make your decision on which keywords you want to implement on each page of your website. Now for the sake of this video, I've already done this keyword research beforehand. And so the keyword that I'm gonna use on my homepage is dentist in Idaho Falls. Idaho Falls is of course the city that this dentist resides and we'll click save. And you can see that as I complete these optimization steps, they're going to be checked off with the green check. The next one is page title is set. This of course is something that you can do inside the page settings. And because it's already been done, I've got a green check. But the next one says that the page title does not yet contain our keyword. So if you remember, our keyword is dentist and idle fall. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and let's head over to our page title and see what's going on. So under the home page, if I scroll down, we've got our title tag set, but it just says dentist. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is replace this and input dentist in Idaho Falls. And let's make sure that we capitalize this because this is the title that will be displayed on the Google search results. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're also gonna to wanna to make sure we include this in the meta description. So let's just type in, we are the best dentist in Idaho Falls. And let's go ahead and save that. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is when we're manipulating page titles and meta descriptions, we're gonna to wanna to publish the site before we rerun our audit in SEMflow because this is going to make sure that SEMflow can find this new data. So once that's published, let's head over to SEMflow and you can see that this is what we updated as well as our meta description down here. So rather than rerunning an audit on the entire site, let's just go ahead and press this button to recrawl this particular page. And once that's done, you can see that it is checked off page title contains keyword. Also meta description is set. Meta description contains keyword. And we also checked off meta description length is sufficient. So we checked out a lot in that. And you can see that because all of these optimizations have been done on the homepage, we got a green check here. Now just to touch base on the other elements that you need to follow, you need to make sure that your H1 is set and that it contains your keyword. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're properly using your H2 through H6s. And just as a quick refresher, this is just your headings. And so you can see here, this is an H1. This can be adjusted over here in your settings and you can choose your heading type. You of course wanna make sure that your H1 comes first, followed by your H2 and so on and so forth. So let's come back to SEMflow over here. And the last couple that we need to double check is that our page word count is sufficient. This just wants to make sure that we have enough content on there to be optimized. Our page contains our keyword at least three times. We've got that. And finally, our image alt count. You can see that while we don't have all of our images with alt tags, we do have a majority, which is why it's giving us this green check. And just like that, we have optimized our entire homepage. So we've got our other two static pages, teeth whitening and teeth cleaning. We would do exactly the same as we did in the homepage for these particular pages. So we'll go ahead and skip over those. And let's talk about these last two. I'm gonna untoggle this. These last two, you can tell by these links that these are CMS elements. Now, the nice thing about CMS pages is all you have to do is adjust the dynamic structure of these blog pages, and it's going to improve the score of all of your different pages. So to show you an example of this, we're gonna come over here to our pages and come down to our blog post template. And you can see here that we have this template. And so all we're gonna have to do is adjust our headings, make sure that we have title tags in, and this is going to affect all of them across the board. So coming over here to SEMflow, you can see that we don't have keywords set for these. So I would say that our keyword should just be how dental implants work for this one. And let's go ahead and set that. And then this one should be what exactly is a root canal. Now we've got our page title set. Our meta description is not set on either of these. Now, the way that this is different for the CMS items is again, we're going to come back to our pages and we're gonna come into our page settings. And rather than typing in a static title and meta description, we're going to want to add a field. Now inside the CMS, 
I have fields for meta description and page title tag. So I'm gonna click in these dynamic fields for both of these. We're gonna go ahead and save this and publish and that should update on all of our CMS pages across the board. This works whether you have two CMS pages or 2000 CMS pages. So let's come back over here to SEMflow and because we have manipulated multiple pages, let's rerun our entire audit. It's going to crawl all five of our pages. It says that our scan is complete and it's going to update our score and you can see that it's taken us up to a 73% and inside of this, it has updated our meta description and our page title and then we're just gonna have to go through and do our individual keyword optimizations. So SEMflow is a really cool tool just to walk you through this process step by step and we've got a lot of other cool features that are coming out in the near future. So if this is something that you wanna try out to help you through this process, again, go to SEMflow.io to get started today. All right, so now that we've done all of these on-page optimizations, I wanna talk to you about a really cool tool which is called Google Lighthouse. Now this is a free Chrome extension that's going to help you see the overall performance of your website. So the way that this works is once you add it to Chrome, it's gonna show up here in your Google Chrome browser toolbar. And then all you need to do is open your website, click up here and generate report. And what this is going to do is show you a full report, including your score as it relates to your site performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. And then this is going to give you individual tasks to complete in order to improve these scores. Now, the nice part about Google is if there's ever an individual opportunity or task that you don't understand, copy and paste it into Google search and it's going to tell you exactly how to make that fix. So you can get all of your Lighthouse scores up into the green. And this is again going to help Google recognize your site, trust it, and eventually rank it on the search results. Now I love using all of Google's free tools because number one, they're free. And number two, obviously Google is going to show you what they prefer inside of these tools. So if we're trying to rank on Google, we might as well use their tools and play by their rules because this is going to give us the best chance to rank as high as possible and generate traffic. All right, so now with all of that said, the last thing that we need to do is talk about backlinks. And backlinks are the most difficult part of an SEO campaign, but they're also the most important. If you're not sure what a backlink is, this is any time another website talks about your website and links back to you. In a lot of ways, ranking on Google is just a popularity contest. And so if Google sees your website is talked about by a ton of other websites and it's linked back to, this is going to pass a lot of authority and link juice to your site. And this is going to help your ranking more than anything else. Now that might seem like a lot and like a big undertaking to go out and write articles and deliver them to other websites and get them to link back to you but it can actually be a lot easier than you think. And I'm gonna show you the best process to accomplish this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to this free tool by Ahrefs called the Keyword Difficulty Checker. And what this is going to do is this is going to show us how many backlinks we need in order to rank for a particular keyword. So you can see here, I've already typed in my keyword dentist in Idle Falls, and I'm going to go ahead and click check keyword. And what this is going to do is show me how difficult it is to rank for this keyword and how many backlinks I should anticipate needing in order to compete and rank. So you can see here that this one says hard, which is not a good sign. And so I might wanna go back to the drawing board and find a new keyword. But for the sake of this example, you can see that we are going to want at least 40 different backlinks in order to compete. And so this means 40 different websites, 40 different articles delivered and links back to my website. So let's go ahead and dive into the best process in order to acquire these backlinks. So what we're gonna wanna do is go to Google and we're gonna wanna search for some good opportunities to write and publish an article with a link to our website. So what we're gonna do first is type in a keyword. So let's just type in for this example, let's type in best dentist. And then the most important part of this is we're gonna type in write for us. And what this is going to do is show us different opportunities like this first one, where you can write an article, submit it and get it published. So this example, this website is called cosmeticdentaltreatments.info. And right down here, you can click submit an article and you can choose a specific topic that relates to your keyword. You're going to be able to write this article. You can outsource it if you would like to, but make sure it's good quality. But you're going to write this, deliver it, they will publish it, and make sure that you have a link back to your website inside this article. 
And just like that, you will have acquired a new backlink. Now, a few things to take note of, you wanna make sure you're ultra careful with where you acquire your backlinks. You don't wanna do this on sketchy sites or backlink farm sites or anything like that because all that's going to do is hurt your ranking. So you wanna find reputable blogs. Oftentimes you can tell just by doing a gut check and saying, does this look like a legitimate and trustworthy website? And if you feel like it's not, I would go back to the search results and find some better opportunities. And just like that, you've got everything that you need to run your own SEO campaign on your Webflow site. Now keep in mind, this was the most basic outline I could have possibly given you. And there's a lot more that goes into SEO. So if you're looking for more assistance and more knowledge, you can do one of two things. First, you can go to semflow.io and start using our SEO tool. It's only 15 bucks a month. It's really affordable and it's going to walk you through the entire process. The second thing that you can do is if you want to get a more comprehensive understanding of how SEO works and additional strategies that me and my team use in order to drive more traffic to our clients' websites, you can go take my full SEO course. The course is called SEO on Webflow and it has several hours of awesome content. And by the end of this course, you truly will be an SEO expert. So if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. And if you found any value in this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe because I've got new videos like this one coming out every single week. So thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.